I still didn't see that move existed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Which is kind of an indication of how I played on the first game of World Blitz. And he, he looked at me very strangely. I remember he, obviously he knew Queen G2 existed, but he paused to look at me because he thought something like, am I not allowed to give you mate now or what? <laughs> why, why are you still at the board? And uh, yeah, that was, that was a glorious moment of uh, senility. No, I'm not going to say, speaking of which, but wish he played queen to e2. Good God, not man. Rook eight six. Good mm. God. Um, and what's going on now? I do not know. I mean, the, the big question is, we, we were told before rook b3 is very strong. What we don't know if is if uh, is if there is enough time uh, to actually do that. What's the threat? Exactly. I can't. I can't really place. Maybe rook g2, knight g2 Let's is a threat. Say the most useful pass. Maybe this b4. Knight g2 or rook g2. Choose. Choose one. We're assuming the queen is. Yeah. Is good enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, black is yeah, probably black even better. Yes. better exactly. <laughs> so threat detected. King H one. No, no, but maybe it's maybe there's no threat afterwards. Like knight G two, we just make a move of some sort. King H one again. Uh, King H one or bishop B two threatening G seven. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Works so hard to believe, but yeah, this is yeah, this is some this is some next level stuff here. I have to say, beautiful. Do not play before 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 is good. Now apparently is the time to play before, and not a moment earlier. I have become completely assimilated. Like it. And if Rook G2. Yeah, that's a that's a bigger question to my eyes because. Can you still do your shenanigans? Is it really that with all of our discovered checks, there is nothing there? How can this be? Also, even. Knight H5 and Knight defense, G6. Yeah, Knight H5 is better. Hanging the mask. How can this be? Queen e5. Yeah, we knight g6, but then queen c7 is there. Yeah. Still. No, but here nothing is hanging, so you can imagine even bishop c3 being a move, for instance. Hmm. I was trying to attack as as much stuff as possible, but yeah, or queen g4 actually, probably queen g4 is slightly more forcing. Yeah, weird stuff. I'm gonna assume comp is like white now, yeah. We haven't heard yeah, well, I, uh, once again, judging judging by the tone of conversation in chat, there's only one move that wins now, and it's before. It's yeah. before and if he doesn't know, it's gonna be it's gonna be very very difficult for Wesley. But you you can't, despite him spending forty minutes by this point, you still cannot completely out. Uh, uh, I'm losing my exclude rule him out. Yeah, r rule out the possibility that he knows and he is just trying to remember. Ah. Also, I think what Mr. Dodge is pointing out is important for a change. That Wesley is actually an excellent calculator. He gets a bit of a drawish rap and he makes a lot of draws because he doesn't gamble. But it's not like he can't find the only move no, in such a position. No, I mean the Wesley good at chess is not really a hot take. It's just that he is extremely pragmatic and he also has a really rock solid repertoire, which exactly. kind of uh, limits his uh, limits his tactical opportunities. But 
if we have to nominate an all-star team of the 10 people most likely to find B4 in this position, he might very well make yeah. an all-star team. Yeah, and he, currently playing, yeah, I think he is on it. Who would you take? Who's your 10 people to find a B4 team? No, I mean, the, the question should be like, why isn't it, why isn't why isn't it the, the top, top 10? 10? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 and <laughs> there might be some people on that list who maybe you don't take, but you, that would be the conversation. So, I mean, we, we're, taking, uh, we're taking Magnus, we're taking Fabi. Uh, Ding Liren is a fantastic calculator. Um, Grishuk, he, he's going to find it, he might lose on time. But, yeah. Uh, by the way, Grishuk number four on the live list is the live list from 2700chess.com. Shout out to Alexander Grishuk. Prominent, she's also good at calculating. Uh, so is Levon, so is MVL. Well, the only question mark might be Shach, yeah, but that's no, I was fair. gonna say Anish actually. Why you don't rate him as a as a tactician? I do rate him. Well, that's not a question, they're all amazing tacticians, but I would say that Anish's biggest strength is overall knowledge and culture. Then again, Magnus has said that Anish is very good at calculating if he has time. He's not known as a, like a um, five-minute specialist or blitz specialist. So maybe we we'll leave him on. Yeah, no, no, but in general, yeah, I, I think... But the question is, do we want to... Do we want to add somebody who is not in the top Replace yeah. someone by, with and with whom? Vish is there, Van Hau, Rapport, Vitigov, Topolov, Kayakin. Some names we could throw in there. Sure. We don't know, but in general, the conclusion is calculating prowess very closely connected to a chess string. Mm. Sachin Roy says, before it's probably not all that difficult. No, I I think, uh, well, once again, it it might not be as difficult as we're trying to, over to, to sell it, simply because there are very, very few moves you can make in this position. Your pieces don't really have much air. You, like, the, the, the two moves that, the first move that comes to mind is King H1. Because I think you want to sidestep neither fun check ideas, and you also, by playing King H1, you diffuse much of the potency of the threat of Knight takes G2. Hmm. Uh, but once you, for some reason, aren't satisfied with King H1, and currently I don't know what's wrong with it. Although uh, somebody in chat said, I will, uh, Siesta said, I will throw something is King, if King H1 is played. Uh, please choose uh, something that does not break easily and uh, we do not accept liability for. Like in a breakage. blitz game, King H1 is a heavy favorite over B4, yeah. no? Uh -huh. Or maybe not heavy, but. Once yeah, I think. Notice Rook G2 or Knight G2 is a theme. Yeah, I think uh, it's it's very, very natural to, uh, to step away from potential forks, solve some of your. Uh, issues with uh, the, the second rank and so on, it makes, I think it probably creates knight b3, uh, a threat of knight b3 because knight f1 will no longer be that scary. So yeah, I, like so far I've, I've been completely unable to figure out why this, isn't, why, why this isn't the solution. Why is it bad? Help us. Maybe now the rook goes to g6 again, but then I go knight b3. Yes, yeah. yeah, rook, rook f 6 and b3. Ah, and now rook g6, queen e3. the rook situation. Mm -hmm. Then rook takes g2 wins, right? Queen f1, rook g1, nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I still don't see it. Uh, how hard can this be? <clears throat> well, here we designed, so it's one move earlier. Maybe just rook g2 now. You have to take, I assume. We take on g2. You do not take, but you play bishop g5. Like this is, this is becoming annoying because pieces are starting to come out. And yeah, before on the board, yeah. And 91, 92 kind of solves, oh, 92, solves the problem. Spoils the fun. And Wesley did not let us down after we put him on our yeah. top 10, top 10 players to find 
b4. There it comes. Sachin Roy says, if this is a puzzle, pretty much every 26 plus GM finds b4. It's much given... easier to say once you know that b4 yeah. is the correct move. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't bet on that. First of all, mm -hmm. given how much time. Uh... Also, we still don't know why king h1 is yeah. bad. Right? Like, we still haven't managed actually to refute king h1 and... No, I don't believe it's very easy. I do believe it's possible. And also, I want to say that there's still an outside chance that Wesley is trying to remember and not trying to and not trying to solve. What you guys should remember is that at 4 p.m. there is a quiz for you to solve in 23 minutes. We do the daily quiz for Chess24 premium members do you want to go on a small break before that and eat our food or yeah that wouldn't be that wouldn't be a bad idea but before after i i don't really have a preference let's go after let's uh let's continue bye the only legend we have in the building mr peter Svidler. and before we get to it it looks like we should also get to some chess because vishy anand has lost yeah and yeah, we missed queen g4 uh which is quite clearly a bit stronger than the move bishop b2 which we were suggesting bishop b2 might still be okay but uh, queen g4 just wins on the spot there for uh, for wesley so bishop decides not to wow. prolong the uh, the thrashing about here because you, you you have to basically you have to trade queens because after queen e3 bishop b2 will be uh, a crushing blow and defending an endgame of peace down was not high on the list of vicious priorities for today. So, yeah. Congrats to Wesley. That's how modern good preparation looks like. You make your opponent go for an incredibly sharp position where you know a little more, make him find a bunch of very complicated only moves. Vichy passed the first test with his queen d3, but then he stumbled here. I think from what we've seen from the chat that rook a f8 mm -hmm. was maybe not the decisive mistake, but the first step. That was wrong, and then after Wesley played queen g3, maybe there was still a chance with his rook mm -hmm. f6, rook g6. After queen e2, he found his b4 and got tough. So, congrats to Wesley. So, 